Hi everyone, it's Sandy here and welcome back. I'm back here with another video to share with you on another project that I have made using my 6x6 paper. Um, I made these cute little envelopes and I made these using the Ria Memory Kiefer's Envelope Punch Board. They are really, really cute. Uh, so you can get four of these out of the one piece of 6x6 paper and these envelopes measure uh, one and three quarters by one and a half inches. So they are really cute. Uh, they are quite tiny, but you still can fit um, a few little goodies in there or even a little note card as well. You could also just use these as an embellishment for your projects. So I've embellished this one here, and then you can just um, yeah, decorate it if you like. So it's just another little fun little project that you can make with the envelope punch board. And then I also made these cute little paper fans. And um, these are also quite easy to make. So I've got a few more here and I'll just show you quickly. So I've got these ones. And I've added some glitter on the top of the um, paper fan just to give it a bit more uh, sparkle. That's another one. Um, and there's another one here. And you can get six of these paper fans with just one piece of 6x6 six six paper as well. So that's another um, fun project using your 6x6 paper. And what else you can do is you can have you can have three fans plus two of these envelopes out of one piece of 6x6 paper. So you can get a combination of these two, or you can just have the just a six of those on the one piece, or you can have four of these on just the one piece, but just to show you that you can make three of those and two of these envelopes out of the one piece of a six by six. So I'm going to show you how to make these as well. I've packaged a few already. I've just still got to put some a bag topper on them, but these are some that I've already packaged that I'm going to um, send off as Happy Mail as well. And um, one of these I will actually be doing a giveaway next week, but I will um, give you all the details and about the giveaway as well um, in a few more days time but this will be part of the giveaway prize that I'm going to um, give away so yeah so that's one of the um, projects I'm going to show you so we'll firstly we'll start with the envelopes we'll make these envelopes first so you just need a piece of six by six paper and with your six by six paper you're just going to cut it at three inches and then three inches again on the other side so you'll get four three by three uh, pieces of paper. So with uh, your paper, we're just going to, well with the punch board, you can see that here, it, uh, the smallest card size that they've got here is for a gift card, which is a two by three and a half inch card size using a five by five paper. But um, I'm able to make this cute little envelope using a three by three paper. So we're going to, um, slide your paper in and we are going to line it up at the one and five eighth inch mark and we'll just go ahead and we'll punch that so you line the edge of the paper at the one and five eighth of an inch and press down and scroll just like you would with your other envelopes and then just turn that around and then line the notch up with the scroll mark which should then, your paper should line up with the one and three eighth inch mark. And then punch down and scroll, and then just repeat that with the other two sides. Just lining your notch with the uh, uh, score line, and then just your last one. Lining that up. And that's it for that. And then we'll just go and Hold your score lines and that's really all there is to it we just got to cut the uh, the two flaps here just like I've done here that way you can easily um, get to the pocket and also doesn't have the flap hanging over the front of the envelope because it's such a small envelope so then um, you've got it like that and there's your little mini envelope done and then you've got another three more that you can make as well so we'll just glue the bottom flap 
and then um, that will seal off your envelope and that's all there is to it with that one and I will put the measurements down below for you to make this um, a cute little envelope so that's how you make these envelopes so we've done with the uh, envelope punch board for that and now I'm just going to show you how to make these uh, paper fans that I've got here so it's pretty easy what you need with that is when you cut your paper you're going to cut your paper at uh, three inches and then you're going to cut each piece at two inches so every two inches so you'll get six pieces at two inches by six inches and then that's how your paper looks so two inches by three inches so what we're going to do here we're just going to accordion fold your paper so we just fold it up about one eighth of an inch so just roughly about one eighth of an inch like that and then just fold it back and just making sure when you fold your fold lines all sort of line up evenly you want them to um, have a nice even fold and what we're trying to also do here is you want to create six mountain six mountain folds um, otherwise you won't have a a nice fan shape if you don't get six mountain folds um, it took me probably about the third fan before I got the hang of you know, before I got the hang of um folding these uh, fold lines so it may just take a little bit of um, time to get it right so what we want to do here is we want what so you want to get one two three four five six mountain folds so as you can see I've actually gone a little too far in so what we just I'm just going to do you probably can't see me do this but what you want to do is I'll you want to have it so that your valley folds are, are up so this one here I didn't quite do that properly but when you do you want to have one two three four five six I might just do another one just grab another piece that I've already cut up I might just do another one to show you it is a bit tricky uh, to get your six mountain folds but sometimes I can get it sometimes I can't so really keep them nice and um, really thin so I'd really try and keep them down at the one that one eighth of an inch uh, fold flaps so I'm just going to quickly do this just to show you that it is possible to get six mountain folds because that's what I've done with all of these just might take a little bit of practice okay I think I've got it this time see so you've got one two three four five six mountain folds and then you've got two valley folds on the end so your fan it's sort of really looking like a fan so what we're going to do next you've got your fan done I've just got here some crocheted uh, string or you could use twine or ribbon whatever you like and then what we'll just do here is we're just going to uh, wrap around your thread once about a quarter of an inch from the end of your paper and then just tie a knot and I've got my um, glue gun to glue the uh, my embellishment on here so you want your uh, string about a quarter of an inch from the edge and I've got here one of these cute little uh, fabric flower embellishment that I'm just going to stick here to the center which is part of this trim that I've got here so I've just cut a piece of um, one of the flowers out of this trim and again this one here is a uh, card spool I made using my envelope punch board as well I have a tutorial for this um, card spool if you wanted to have a look I'll put the link down below for you okay so I'm just going to grab my glue gun so I'm just going to apply a bit of glue just to the knot 
and then I'm just going to stick the embellishment down and press that down like that. Okay, and I'll just trim the length of the string about the same length as where the end of the fan is. So, and then you just open it up and then it creates your fan. And then the bottom part here, you just open it up as well, just like that. So that creates your cute little fan. And I, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add some glitter to the top of my fan here. So I'm going to just use some glossy accent, which is this one here, which most of us crafters probably have in our stash. And mine was a little bit dry. So I'm just going to apply just a small amount just at the top of the edge of the fan, just all along, just like that, just at the edge. Try not to put too much because when you dip it in the glitter you don't want blobs of glitter all over your um, edge of the fan. So I've got some glitter in my little container here, I've got some silver coloured glitter and I'm just going to dip that in there like that like that just give it a bit of a shape and then I might just let that let that set for, for a little while and that's uh, your cute little fan paper fan all done it's very easy so you can make six of these out of the uh, one piece of six by six paper and that's all ready to go for you to add to your projects so I hope you give these uh, paper fan projects to go and again just might get a bit of practice just to get uh, the six mountain folds but um, yeah you will manage to get six of those folds out of that one piece so I do hope you enjoyed this tutorial and give these fans a go and um, I will see you in my next video bye for now